All right, you guys, there's more. So let's check it out. All right, so in the past, we've been asking about phenotypes. You know, that's what we see, the observable trait. What if the question asks you, determine the genotypes of the offspring? Okay, again, what are the genotypes? Well, remember whenever we learned it before, that the genotype is the gene itself, the letters and the alleles. So looking at this image, you know, the genotype, again, is the DNA broken down into the segment of a gene and the alleles given. The genotype is the actual allele combination. So we have the big B and the little b. The letters represented by the type of gene, the variation, is the genotype. Again, the phenotype, though, that's what we see. That's the observable trait. This mouse has brown hair or the crew member has blue or purple Skin tone, not skin tone, but color. And so again, the phenotype is what we see, and the genotype is the actual gene. So if we look back at the question, and they tell us, use the Punnett square and determine the genotype. We'll still go through all the, all the combinations. We'll pull the factors down and move them over. It'll determine that we have three blue and we have one purple. But when they say, tell, you, tell us what the genotype is, you phrase it in this manner. So looking at the results as shown in the Punnett square, you know, these are the actual genes. These are the genotypes. So the answer, whenever you reply to this and you respond, you will put one, big B, big B, because you see right here. You look and you have two big B, little b's. And then the last one is one, little b, little b. These are the genotypes. So when they ask you what is the genotype combinations of the results of the offspring, this is what you're listing. You can also phrase it as one, big B, big B. This is a homozygous dominant. Remember, homo means the same. And, the, and when you say homozygous dominant, you know they're going to be dominant traits represented by a capital letter. And if it's homozygous being the same, it's going to be two big Bs. The second, the two big B little Bs, this is again heterozygous, you guys. Remember the prefix hetero means different. So you know that the alleles are going to be different, one dominant, one recessive. So there are two heterozygous offspring, big B, little b. Then the final one is a little b, little b, and this is considered a homozygous recessive. Now we call it homozygous recessive because, again, homozygous, homo meaning same, they have the same alleles, they're both recessive. So they are considered homozygous recessive, little b, little b, because... They have the same recessive trait. This is when the purple recessive trait shows up. There is no dominant trait present. There's no big B. Anytime there's a dominant trait present, no matter if it's two dominants or dominant and recessive, you're always going to see the dominant trait. That's why these three are blue. We have the bl three blue baby crewmates. But because in the little b and the little b, there's no dominant present, that's when we're able to see the recessive purple trait. We call this homozygous recessive. Again, homo means same, which means they have the twinsies, the two little b's. It can be represented in a ratio to the one to two to one ratio. So again, we have the one with the homozygous dominant, two heterozygous, and then one for the homozygous recessive. And that is how you determine the genotype.